again, ladies and gentlemen, let me remind you, please stay on the curb, do not go into the street. I know it seems like you can or should, but don't. Um, but we don't do any reason to there are horses and trucks and cars, and we don't want anybody injured. If you see something to cheer at, please cheer. If you feel like applauding, maybe it's warm and you need a breeze, applause works great for Dan McQueen. I say this at the beginning of every parade I've ever been in for years and years and years, and it took me a long time to find out the actual rules of flag respect here in a parade. And it goes like this. As the first American flag goes by in a parade, it is tradition to stand up as that parade goes by. If you are a woman, you may leave your hat on. If you're a man, you're supposed to place your hat over your heart. I learned this from the Boy Scout Handbook, which is the only place that had flag etiquette for a parade. The rest of the flags in the parade, you don't have to stand up for, but it is respectful on that first one to honor our country that way. gentlemen on motorcycles coming by in front of you right now. A big welcome to the Pelham Police Traffic Unit. We work hard to keep our traffic safe. Thank you very much. They're out there when it's really hot in dark uniforms and when it's really cold, which we may have tears inside their uniforms. Next up, the United States Coast Guard Training Center, Petaluma's Honor Guard, comprised of seven apprentice schools and 26 technical schools. The training center is responsible for educating and developing a third of Coast Guard's enlisted workforce. Consisting of eight-person training, the Honor Guard is responsible for flawlessly performing military honors for fallen veterans, presenting colors at military and community ceremonies, and a myriad of other proceedings. the 2022 parade. Butter and Egg Days Parade Queen is community, the heart of Petaluma. The parade produces and is produced by the Downtown Association. Let's give them and the Petaluma Marching Band a big hand. The High School Trojan Marching Band. Oh, you gotta love them. One of them won earlier in the cow chip throwing contest. I don't know where he is. There he is. I see him on the end with the sleeve on. There we go. He was our big winner. I think Jared, is that right? Ah, yeah, we got a thing, baby. We got a thing. This is uh, Amy's. Thank you, Amy's, for sponsoring Butter and Egg Days Parade. Thank you for your support. That is Amy's. Amy's Kitchen, founded by local Petaluma's Andy and Rachel Burliner, who made their first pot pie right here in their home off of East Street. All the meals are vegetarian, made with organic ingredients. Last year, they gave away over 800,000 meals to people. The vegetables you see on their float, this year will all go to Cots, a local shelter for the unhoused here in Petaluma. The Burliners open Amy's first drive through to talk of the entire Bay Area and maybe the nation uh, through July of 2015. 
Amy's drive through is returning to the roots of American fast food, so serving tasty food to feed hardworking people, busy families, and road-weary travelers. Every item is organic, vegetarian, and non-GMO, and can be made with on request. Thank you, Amy's drive through Kevin McDonald, 
Brian, the rest of the crew, Meg, the city manager Peggy Flynn is there, the city of Petaluma, all about community and this is the people that do the work behind the scenes. Sometime in the wee hours of night, the final round of applause, but we'd like to applaud them now for the work they do. So what is it done? This place would hold together a little less firmly. California State Treasurer is next. This is Fiona Ma. 34th State Treasurer being the first woman of color and the first CPA elected to the position. California, the fifth largest economy. And Treasurer Ma is the state's primary banker. She provides funding for schools, housing, hospitals, crucial infrastructure that betters all Californians' lives. Next up in the, the luckiest car on the parade, number 13, that is Danny Rennett. Serving his third term representing a diverse plan of urban and rural residents right here in the beautiful second district. David Rabbit has proven his dedication as a fiduciary agent for the rest of the residents and taxpayers of Sonoma County. His work includes the support of our local economy, infrastructure, advocating and improving the pavement of over 400 road miles. He is the one who's throwing the bottle. Next up in that 65 pickup is Supervisor David Connolly and his wife Dawn. Our next banner we'd like to thank in media support, the Argus Courier. The Argus Courier. We can have records of what went on without them. Thank you very much, Argus Courier. Long time support.
Kentucky Street, which offers a free to use bee garden and enthusiastic staff, I can tell by the hunky horn, and a commitment to creating a community through games. Have fun, humans. The Holly Class Foundation and Goblin Brothers remind kids to use social media safely. Okay, this is slacklining, and uh, it is so, it's, it's hard, right? I call it slack falling. Uh, welcome to the Slacklining Club. They're dedicated to building a community that fosters mindful presence, self-love, and connection. They strive to continuously rediscover what it means to live and find life together. The nation-based club meets every Sunday at Worcester Park. In addition to slacking, offers yoga, meditation, and intuitive movement classes where some camp programs or workshops or one-on-one -on -one counseling sessions found by the federal natives and fueled by the heart of our community. We are the side Yeah. I wave my arms and still fall off.
They're getting the best ride in the community. They're going to tell their snake friends they got all over Petaluma and didn't have to do anything. The uh, Petaluma Wildlife Museum is a legion of teenage ghosts. Environmental education for over four decades. They are celebrating their 30th anniversary. Born and raised Farmstead Cheese. Small farm, big flavor is their model. The Born and raised Farmstead rides, rides by way of the trophy in the driver's seat and the big cheese himself. Bob Giacomini getting shotgun. And waving to everybody. The Giacomini family has been part of the Bellow community since 1908 and locally producing award winning handcrafted cheese since the year 2000. Was a farmer-owned farm supply cooperative and that dates back to 1930. The farmer-owned cooperative operates 24 retail farm locations throughout Oregon and Washington to Petaluma being the first in California. The retailer carries a wide range of hardware supplies, a full line of fencing, livestock equipment, the poultry, cattle, sheep, and barn dry animals. Wilco, in 2011, launched a program to support local FFA called FFA Forever, collecting donations from all their vendors, employees, and customers to help out the FFA. And next to that big Ferris wheel, Come together as a community and it's an open to win a fairgrounds and events center. The fairgrounds serves as the heart of our community and helping the youth in the surrounding area in times of emergency. And daily is a place to talk to the schools there and educate their kids, looking forward to a growing future with our community. The Sonoma Marine Fairgrounds, part of the community since 1860. By the way, if you want a great night of fun, uh, just go into the public speedway and get a royal kicking pants. Woo! All right! Next question down the street. You'll see a big group of them all dressed in black and green. A challenging time for everyone. They want to honor all the hardworking teachers and administrators and support staff to come into the school to go across and beyond the streets and families. It has been a wild ride for the last two years, and they are very thankful to be here and that you are giving them the applause that they deserve.
A premier sponsor of Hunter Night Games, as well as the Kids Area, Freedoms continues to sponsor this parade. We thank them for their generosity as they have always done. Great family, great business, great history, and it started in Heather Rima, California. It's originally founded, as you didn't know this, but uh, 76 years ago on Kentucky Street. After moving out, they swore they would move back, and that was one of the things that Billy Deacon made sure happen, that Petal and Up, Freedman's Return Home. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of everybody at Freedman's Home and Home. Grateful to be a supporter of this community. 
The Pelly Woman Valley Group has been serving the Pelly Woman community for over 48 years, supporting local schools and organizations with free dental care for veterans on Freedom Day. Give kids a smile. Dental care for kids who need a backpack for the new school year, COVID testing, fire relief, holiday smiles for families in need at Christmas. Pelly Woman Dental Group, we care about you. Next up, your 2022 newly elected Miss Wine Country Rodeo, Donna Green. She hails from Pembroke, California, and decided to represent Sonoma County and the Sonoma County Fair at the PRCA Rodeos throughout the state. Catch Jenna again at the Sonoma County Fair, August 4th through the 14th, as Tropical Fairside comes to Sonoma County. And of course, Copperfield books. If you read, you gotta love these people. Copperfield, proud to be downtown at the bookstore for 40 years. Know that everyone is always welcome at Copperfield. Today we're joined by New York Times bestselling author Matt Farnett and his oldest friend, the Calcutta award-winning author and illustrator Sean Harris to celebrate their upcoming book, First Cat in Space, A Pizza. Okay, there we go. Celebrating 110 years, these are the Girl Scout entrepreneurs, the heart of our future. They love to get back to the Pelly Woman community with love and caring and concern and of course, awesome cookies, thin mint, rock. Now, if you love wine dancing, you're going to love this, because this is the Cowtown Girls. They're one of Sonoma County's line dance teams. Their goal is to spread cheer through dance. Use their numbers for community outreach. Visit them at cowtowngirls.com. If you want to join them, be part of the fun, and just have line dance lessons. Now, if you're turning on the radio or the TV, uh, one of the great channels to choose is Petaluma Community Access, TCA, your local resource station for non-commercial TV and radio production. Thank you. Love the radio part. Her name, by the way, is Bubba, in case you wonder. It's Bubba. Here comes the flow representing the heart of downtown Petaluma. The heart of Petaluma is the downtown river trestle, and boy, does it need some fixing up. By restoring our trestle, the entire downtown becomes even more pedestrian as a great walking destination, and asserts and supports our downtown businesses, highlights our history of no other than the Petaluma River Promenade. There's Pete. Hey, Pat, little Pete's on the back playing there everywhere. Give a big round of applause to the minister of this wonderful event, the Pelly Woman Downtown Association. For the help of over 200 volunteers, we're putting this on. And Safeway, who has also been a part of Pelly Woman since 1926. Today, their associates join us from local stores in the surrounding areas. The store by direct, is directed by Ron Brees of Washington Square Safeway. Proud to be a part of our parade. Safeway. Happy Butter and Eggs Day from Safeway. I like to make, make that rhyme. Here is the second gap. Sometimes you're lucky to get two. We're really lucky if we get three gaps. This could be a three gap parade. You never know. You never know. You'll be part of it the first time in two years that the pedal in the gap has shown up, but here it is again. By the way, Pedal in the grocery stores, real close stuff, winery, Rocky and Rosie, Pedal in the poultry chickens, which, in my own personal opinion, taste a whole lot better. I mean, they really are. Uh, point raised cheese, Buffalo Billiards, Sonoma Moon Fair, all help put on butter and egg days. If you bump into anybody from Fishman Supply, Rooster Run, Rivertown Feed, Noah's Bagel, the Pedal in the Bell, tell them how much that you love the parade and hope that they'll keep going. This is a little more of the Safeway people. Hello, Safeway people. 
Did you bring the bakery? Oh, got it. And there is our first fried egg sandwich, ladies and gentlemen, right there in the middle of the parade. Our very first fried egg sandwich. There's our second fried egg sandwich. Wow, it's twins. Foster Screens in 1972. Wow, that's awesome. Love that. They graduated in 72 and 73 and are now working hard at being retired. I hope everyone has a great career. I love that story. That is just wonderful. That is wonderful. Right behind them is the Santa Rosa Marine Corps League. Attachment number 686. The Marine Corps League is a group of honorably discharged Marines and foremen. They host the Marine Corps birthday luncheon every November the 10th. And at the Santa Rosa Vets Building, they also run the local Toys for Tots program, supporting children in our community. And their motto is, Semper Fi, always faithful. Hoorah. And by the way, I understand they're all wearing very special ballet sneakers today. Next up, the Cumberland Valley Rotary Club. Here at Stairway Demons, real or imagined, such a beat tapping your heart pounding. Big celebration, community service, service above all else is their motto. Service above self is what they do. As the break continues, we have the Neighborhood Garden Initiative. They are a new nonprofit that exists to bring function. Purpose is due to the land that we occupy. They educate families on the importance of food sovereignty. The mission is to put a garden in every home, share our knowledge and the boundaries of one another, and continue to help put food system back into the hands of people. We currently have eight gardens installed between Oakland, Marin, and Sonoma County. If you're interested in volunteering, please reach them at their website, which is neighborhoodgardeninitiative.org. That's the Neighborhood Garden Initiative.
The Pebble Lake chapter of the North Bay Association is next. It's the Association of Realtors, and they are proud to represent and show their love of this community through all of their generous contributions dating back all the way to 1978, which used to not sound like so long ago as it does now. Over 800,000 have been donated to global nonprofits and high school scholarships to date. They don't just sell Petaluma, they help build it by opening new doors to new people in our community every single day. All right, boys and girls, moms and dads, please stay off the street again and stay as far away as you can from the horses as you go by. They just need everybody to stay clear. The Petaluma Riding Driving Club, the PRDC, was founded in 1939 with a handful of members and on a very small piece of property. 2014 marked their 75th anniversary. The ladies you see on horseback carrying American flags were part of their competition drill team. The junior and senior teams traveled throughout California and over to Nevada to compete during the year. Next up, after 
Girls United, skate on by. Oh, that looks like fun. I'm sorry. That looks like really fun. I know. I'm going to get until my wheel gets caught in it. That's great. Just a reminder, moms and dads, boys and girls, it's getting hot on one side of the street. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Or in the words of every parent and grandparent, have some water. Next up, division sponsor, my friends at the Redwood Credit Union. Proud sponsor, Bethlehem is part of an eggs parade. Redwood Credit Union loves to bring its heart to Ted Little, and that's why this year's float is titled, For the Love of the Moon. Yeah. Visit RCU at North McDowell or his West Petaluma branch later this year. And by the way, always say hi to Amanda. <laughs> Didn't know I knew, did you?
Say hello to Bernie Type and Steve, the win the wine guy, and the staff of Petaluma Grocery Outlet, a big supporter in fostering the growth of our fine city here in Petaluma, California. A constant community fundraising event, participant donations, unfeedable product, unfeedable pricing. Petaluma Grocery Outlet, where serving the community is at the heart of who they are. chicken ranch work to do it. Jim is organizing his Petaluma High School class of 1973, 50th reunion. 73 is 50? Oh, I feel old. Go Trojans. <laughs> Libraries, the heart of any community in our school and public libraries keep the pulse going with programs that empower youth development and lifelong learning. Collections for great reading, listening, and viewing. Libraries provide important opportunities for all to learn, contribute, interact, and participate in community life. The local history, the downloadable ebooks, and how to find a job, your libraries are here for you. And right behind them, beer. Brewing up the unexpected and supporting our community to pull up the Cuddle Woman of the Arms since 1993. Margaritas, they welcome the open minded with open tap, simple terms, and good times. Yep, it's good to have friends. To stop by, bring your dog, and to engage as a super bar for everyone. <laughs>